dream house bio digesters constructors of biodegradable human waste bio digesters for homeowners right here in Ghana. The decision you make about the number of bio digesters to construct for a particular property depends like we have always say on the number of toilet seats in the house and how the toilet seats have been located in this video i'm just showing you a typical case scenario where you can equally construct a biodigester and place it far away despite the fact that the pipes are on the building you are deciding or making the decision based on the plan of the house that's how the plan has been laid out and where the pipes are showing and then other accessories or amenities that are equal in the house and the final outlook of the building so that's basically what you will be looking at in this video so this particular case some of the pipes are here they are far away from the building it's a five bedroom house one down four up and you can see some of the toilet seats. i think we have three here there's one down that's the guest and then the room downstairs and then there are two rooms that have been lying here there's another room here as well as the another one also coming from the top which is here when you do consider the construction of value digester you will have to take into account the position of the toilet seats in the house the other toilet seats are here there are two of them here so you know we are looking at six toilet seats in a five bedroom house including the visitors or guests Toilet seats. So the other ones are coming from the top and they are here. But then making a decision on it on this particular case, why we started the biodigester far away at the corner is because of this security post that's going to be here. It's also got a toilet seat on it. So how you decide is what determines where the digester is being placed. We decided to place the biodigester here. And then the pipes will have to be run around the wall all along the wall and come and join this one to it and then make the decision that it's best you locate the biodigester at that end and likely he's going to do a, a traditional sukkah away and have it dropped in it you are making this decision based on the the budget involved and obviously looking at what is best for the homeowner as well the only problem you are going to have with such a project is because there will be pipes that will be crossing the front gate it means that the pipes that are going to be passing where the cars will be will have to be pressure pipes and those are the additional costs that the homeowner will have to incur we i won't consider it additional cost because the other thing will have been to do the digesters two or three of them and then that will have even incur more costs for the homeowner Ideally, one digester was supposed to have been placed here. Security post is supposed to get one. And the other side of the burden is also supposed to get one. But we want to save costs for the homeowner. We want him to have a good return on investment. And then the soakaway is the main reason we're doing this digester in this format. Because we trust that the digester will work well when there's additional soakaway to it. The ground is clay. So all those considerations have been factored in the reason why the family size large digester plus a soak away which will virtually work like a, a septic system is what has been the option that has been given to this particular homeowner here and i just wanted to let you know you can do a biodigester and place it far away and have the pipes line up the burden or the wall all the way to the place and still have that good mindset in terms of what you are getting yourself into when you come to biodigesters